YouTube has a ton of problems. Rampant, inexplicable demonetization of completely innocent channels, like history creators. Policy changes that always seem to hurt rather than help the creators that form the backbone of the YouTube platform. We don't have a panacea to everything that afflicts YouTube. Instead, we'll address a problem that can strike creators of all kinds. Disconnection from their audience. A channel's precipitous decline in traffic without any drop in subscribers to account for it. If you're a YouTuber, this can be one of the most frustrating periods of your channel's journey. You have acquired a respectable number of subscribers, most of whom don't watch your uploads. Even if you've never uploaded a video yourself, you might have come across a channel with an impressive subscriber count but a pitiful number of views on recent videos. What might cause this? YouTube doesn't notify subscribers of new uploads. Most of the time, their subscription isn't configured properly since YouTube frequently changes the functionality and procedure of the subscription feature without necessarily advising subscribers of what it is they must do to stay connected to the channels they want to watch. Consequently, old subscribers are disconnected from the channels they subscribe to after YouTube changes how subscriptions, and much more importantly, notifications work. Subscribing used to be simple. Subscribe to a channel you like and YouTube would feed you new content when the creator uploaded it. YouTube then degraded subscriptions by sequestering notifications to a new button, the bell. Now you had to press to subscribe and then press the bell button. And recently they've added another step to the already unnecessary long procedure. You have to subscribe, press the bell button and select all. This rigmarole is so pointlessly convoluted that it could make even the most passionate subscriber go, yeah, nah, it can't be asked. But while you're here, could you please subscribe and press the bell button and select all? Thank you. At this point, what purpose does the subscribe button serve? An obstacle to the button that really matters, the bell icon? YouTube has downgraded subscriptions from a feature that used to connect creator and community to a point where a barrier divides potential subscribers from the button they're supposed to use. What is the solution then? Remove the subscribe icon. Just have a naked bell icon that people can click without having to unlock it by pressing anything else. If a user wants to follow a creator, they'll ring the bell. If they grow bored of the channel, they deactivate the bell. The bell can absorb the last vestiges of functionality the subscribe button currently retains. Activating the bell should pin the channel on your sidebar and have its videos feature on your feed. Turning the bell off should do the opposite. Remove the channel from your site. It's a bit stupid having the subscribe button and the bell button. I mean, who subscribes to a channel but doesn't want to be notified of the videos or have them appear in their feed? Yeah, I like your content enough to subscribe to it, but not enough to want to watch any more. That just doesn't make sense. On the subject of removals, personalized should be removed too. What does it even do? Personalized notifications are sent at the optimal time for each individual subscriber. This might mean that some subscribers who have their notifications set to personalized receive their notification hours after you publish your video. Or never, as seems to be the case for my channel, as well as many other channels of all kinds. Personalized notifications are now the default though they never seem to notify subscribers. Maybe it means personalized service, like the same shitty personalized service you get from your phone company. The only explanation besides the failure of personalized is that the subscribers turn off notifications while still opting to remain subscribed to a channel they no longer wish to receive notifications for. And if I don't select all, shouldn't I at least get notifications for the new video uploads? Like the subscribe button, Personalized serves no purpose other than to clutter the drop-down list with an obscure, nondescript option that purports to do something but does nothing. Both personalized and subscribe are anti-creator and anti-watcher. Subscribers don't get the content they subscribe for, and creators don't get the views they might expect if they look to and take at face value the number of people who subscribe to them. It's easy to understand why subscribe is still a thing. It's a relic from a bygone era a time when it served a purpose. That does not apply for personalized notifications. Why does personalized even exist? YouTube says it's because most viewers don't want to receive all notifications. 
If subscribers feel overwhelmed by the number of notifications they're receiving, they may turn off notifications altogether. If viewers don't want to be notified for new uploads from a channel they've subscribed to, they should unsubscribe. Sadly, YouTube have taken it upon themselves to surreptitiously unsubscribe subscribers from channels without their knowledge, let alone consent, causing them to miss out on new content, unjustly robbing the channel from the views it would have received, and forcing the unsubscribed viewers to search for the channel and subscribe again. YouTube, could you please stop unsubscribing people? Subscribers are perfectly capable of unsubscribing on their own. You don't need to do it for them. If subscriptions cease to be a thing, they can just unring the bell, which should remove the channel from their site. If YouTube feels subscriber counts don't make sense without a subscribe button, call them followers or watchers. No big deal. Reading the support page on notifications, it becomes clear YouTube is completely out of touch. Personalized notifications help prevent users from turning off all notifications for your channel. Looking at the view count, there wouldn't be a difference anyway. Personalized subscribers are still valuable for your channel. These subscribers will see every video that you upload in their respective subfeeds. Again, this doesn't seem to work looking at the numbers. Why is the default notification setting personalized and not all notifications? We tested all notifications as the default setting and found that over time people were overwhelmed with the high number of notifications and turned them off completely. Did you consider the possibility the reason subscribers were overwhelmed was because you didn't warn them pressing the subscribe button enabled notifications during your little experiment? This wouldn't be a problem if the subscribe button didn't exist. People could either choose to press the bell and enable notifications for channels they're interested in, or tune out by deactivating the bell when they grow bored. Simplicity is paramount. Everybody would be better off if subscribe and personalize were removed. YouTube is no stranger to removing features. They've removed annotations, video responses, video editor, and are now gearing up to remove the classic studio, even though many of its features have yet to be replicated in its replacement, the new studio beta. The subscribe button deserves removal more than any of these former features. Due to its deliberate deterioration, it is an impediment that confuses viewers with a false sense of functionality. It deceives fans and creators alike with a misleading metric of channel performance. The subscriber count, which as of 2019, has no bearing on the number of views you can hope to get. The subscribe button brings no benefit to counteract its defects and what little functionality it retains can and should be absorbed by the bell button. In the interest of transparency, you ought to get a message when you click the bell. You will now be notified when this channel uploads new videos. To disable notifications, please press the bell again. If the viewer disables the bell, YouTube could send another message to confirm the deactivation. You will no longer receive notifications nor see the channel on your feed. Simplicity and transparency will go a long way towards making it easier for viewers to connect to the channels they like and remove any misunderstandings about notifications as well as make the subscriber count a reliable, accurate and meaningful metric. If you're a creator or thinking of becoming one, a change like this could make managing your channel's growth considerably easier. It would be more consistent and predictable. Please help spread the word by sharing this video with the hashtag FixYouTube.